Hey, let's talk about the techniques used by Buckethead. Buckethead is a crazy good guitar player, and he uses a lot of techniques from slapping to tapping. But I just want to focus on three techniques that you can use to put into your playing to make your writing more interesting to help you out. The first technique is really fast alternate picking. This, I think, is what comes to mind a lot when people think about Buckethead. And all alternate picking is is using your pick to go down and up to get notes instead of just the sort of James Hetfield down. Let's do it with a with a volume on. You just go down and up. And to make it fast, you want it to come from your wrist. You want to be pretty relaxed, and you uh, want to have a good time. Let the motion come from your wrist. Let it be small, and. Don't be too tense. You want to relax while you do it. So you can do it for a two hour show. Buckethead uses this in a variety of different ways to get some sort of cool notes like in Pike 65 when does that. He also uses it for his soloing to go crazy, but he can also, you also can use it in a bluegrass way, like. So it's a, it's a useful technique. Another thing that Buckethead does that's pretty wild, and I kind of don't think about it that much when I think about Buckethead, but it's his hybrid picking. And hybrid picking is using your pick and your fingers to create notes. It's how he gets the intro to Welcome to Bucketheadland, Land, or the main riff from Welcome to Bucketheadland. Land. He's picking and plucking at the same time. Right, that would be hard to do to just pick the whole thing. Oops. Yeah, it sucks. You gotta, you gotta do it hyper picking. And it's cool. I think he uses it for sled ride too, that uh, whole. And he uses it in the redeem team in a really interesting way where he's doing triplets, where he's picking a note, tapping a note, and then plucking that same low note. Good enough for me. The last one is Buckethead's unique use of tapping. He doesn't ever tap in like a sort of traditional Eddie Van Halen way. He taps in a sort of chromatic way where he's using three or four fingers on his tapping hand and he's going in chromatic frets and he's sort of you know, let's say for now he's mirroring what he's doing with his left hand. So if he's tapping with his third finger, he's using his third finger on his fretting hand. And I'm just doing that like a flat fifth apart. And then you can just move that up the strings and it sounds kind of like Buckethead. I hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe.